to sleep, perchance to dream. The journey through the night begins as we enter the first stage of sleep. Our muscles start to relax. By stage two, we're sleeping. Our brain waves become slower as we enter stage three. Finally, we reach stage four, the deepest level of sleep. These four levels are called non-REM sleep. After about 80 minutes, we move into REM sleep. The brain is very active as we dream for about 10 minutes. Another cycle follows the first action, with a longer REM period of about 20 minutes. In the next 90 minute intervals, we descend only to stage two, and the REM periods lengthen each time until we wake up. If you sleep throughout the night, you normally dream four to five times in seven or eight hours. The melody of Paul McCartney's famous song, Yesterday, came to him in a dream. Upon waking, he rushed to play it on a piano before the melody could slip away from him. Charles Dickens believed that the position of his bed was essential to a good night's sleep. He insisted that it always face north. Benjamin Franklin thought it would be a luxury to have two beds, so that if he awoke in a hot bed, he could move to one that was cool and fresh. Sarah Bernhardt, the famous French actress, sometimes slept in a coffin, claiming it helped her prepare for her many tragic roles. Sleep, that complicated state of being. Throughout the ages, until the 20th century, so little was known about the subject that sleep was generally understood as a time when both the body and the brain were in a complete state of rest. Then this man created a revolution in the way we think about sleep. His name was Nathaniel Kleitman. He immigrated to the United States in 1915 and obtained a PhD in psychology from the University of Chicago in 1923. He was one of a handful of men interested in learning about the mechanisms of sleep. On a tablet in front of the Sphinx, an inscription tells of a dream that instructed a young pharaoh to clear the sand surrounding the statue in order to secure his kingdom. The Dead Sea Scrolls describe a dream from the Book of Enoch chronicling the threat of giants. Abraham Lincoln related a dream in which he lay in a casket in the White House. Three days later, he was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth. In a preface to her book, Mary Shelley describes a dream which led to the creation of her novel, Frankenstein. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little lives are rounded with a sleep. <laughs>